What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are here to do a quick breakdown of the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. Now it is very late at night, a lot of people sleeping in the house, so I gotta kinda be a little bit quiet, so we're just gonna get right through this now. Before this trailer starts, like Tom Holland says right here, is about to play, if, if you, you haven't um, seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching. Yeah, stop watching if you haven't seen Endgame. But if you haven't seen Endgame, what are you doing here, man? So, yeah, let's skip through all this and let's just get right into the trailer. Everywhere I go, I see his face. Just reminiscing. Yeah, I miss him too. Yeah, it's really tough here. Because coming off of Endgame, the way Tony sacrificed his life to save everybody and get rid of Thanos for good, um, it really speaks volumes for the man he was, you know, almost willing to sacrifice himself in the first Avengers. He's just a, um, at the core, man, like the, the type of guy he is. Just, it's incredible. And I'm really glad he went out the way he went out. I think it was very bittersweet. I think it was deserving. I think it was always leading up to it just from his nature and just everything that the guy went through. So, you know, it's really going to be sad to see Happy and Peter and everybody who was close to Tony move on without him, you know. So this trailer opens up hard and heavy, you know, and I really feel for these guys. You know, Happy's been with them since day one, man. Happy has been his loyal sidekick all these years. Really great times together. So, um, And another thing, too, about this is I'm really excited to see the relationship between Happy and Peter build. You know, I think they're going to get a lot closer, and I think they're going to have a blossoming friendship, you know, kind of in the same vein of Happy and Tony. So really looking forward to that. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. Let me stop right here. Uh, I love the Iron Spider suit, man. This is my favorite suit. Um, a lot of people say, oh, it's 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 a Tony Stark suit. It's like, dude, get over that shit, all right? This thing is awesome. The mechanics, the, the features it has, the gadgets, dude, it just looks sleek. It looks awesome. So I'm really glad they're bringing it back for this movie. I don't, obviously, he's not going to have it the whole movie, but it might get damaged or something. He might get rid of it at some point, but I'm glad they brought it back for at least some of the movie. So let me back this up here. Uh, I like this joke here. You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work because I am going on vacation. See, that's what I love, man. I love this is Peter Parker to me. He is a jokester. He's witty and he loves making quips. So the fact that he's joking around with these cops, man, this is Peter Parker to me and I love it. Oh, Columbia and Sony, man. Hey, at least they finally worked out a deal with Marvel, so at least we got that. By the way, let me pause this right here. Somebody mentioned earlier that, let me go back. Could this be Stark Tower being rebuilt into something? Someone brought that up. That's very interesting to uh, think about, so we'll see. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. <laughs> What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here and save Mark. I'll talk about Nick Fury in a minute. <laughs> okay, we'll just do it here. Hold on. You're a very difficult person to contact. Spider-Man. Spider okay, so here is... Here's what I love. We're finally getting to see Nick Fury back in action because he was... Very prominent in Phase 1. He he kind of showed up here and there in Phase 2. He's pretty much been non-existent in Phase 3, so I'm really glad that he's coming back for this movie. Um, and it looks like he's going to have a pretty big part, and I love that he's going back to his roots of having that mentor-type ship to Peter this time. And I think it looks like they're kind of running a new underground shield here. Like, hold on. Right here. It looks like... Could this be like a new type of shield, a secret type of shield they're trying to build up? Or, you know, it, it looks like they could be doing something like that. So I'm really happy to see them back together doing this type of stuff. So let's get into my man Mysterio here. Is Mr. Ben. <laughs> ah, Mysterio. So finally getting Mysterio in a live action Spider-Man film. Um, Mysterio is Quentin Beck, one of my favorite villains from the comics and the TV show. He was known for his, he's the master of illusions, he always fucked with people, and 
showed illusions and created monsters and stuff like that and just really got into the minds of people. So I don't think, I think it's all smoke and mirrors in this movie. Obviously, they're setting it up right now to portray him as a friendly guy, but I think that the ending twist of this movie is he's going to be a villain. Although, I could be wrong. Marvel might be expecting us really big nerds to think that they're going to pull a twist and have him be evil at the end, but they could really have something else up their sleeve. So I'm not really sure what's going on with Mysterio here, but I'm just glad he's in the movie. Tell me like you are my world. New world? Big is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? Now here we go. This is what got me when I did my reaction. Multiverse. Now, clearly, I had an idea they were going to start doing something with alternate realities or multiverses, you know, with the introduction of the snap and what happened in Endgame, but um, they're just taking it to a whole new level here, you know, drawing inspiration from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse with the multiverses and the different realities of each timeline and each character. I really hope they're going this route, and it looks like they are, and this is a perfect way to introduce the X-Men down the road, you know, the Fantastic Four and the other Celestials and all the other characters that can come from this, so... It looks like we're in for a fucking train ride through the multiverse. So this is insane to think about. So let's move on. A job to do, and you're coming with us. There's got to be something else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel, unavailable. All right, Thor and Captain Marvel are name dropped here in the trailer, and it makes me wonder that. Okay, we knew Captain Marvel would still be around after all this. She's got a lot of more movies and a lot of more appearances, but Thor. A lot of people were wondering that he would kind of take a back seat going forward. I don't think he's going to be as prominent as he was in the first fa three phases, but I think aside from Guardians 3, he's probably going to get another Thor solo film. So I think he's going to be around for a while, man. Hulk as well. So uh, it's nice to see Peter name drop them at a time like this. But of course, like always, they're both unavailable because they're too busy being cosmic and shit. Now here's Molten Man. Um, this is one of the elemental creatures that we all believe that Mysterio has created, you know, along with the Waterman, Hydro Man, and uh, I can't remember the ground guy's name, but um, yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier, like these guys, I think these are all illusions created by Mysterio, so he could try to pass himself off as a hero to the public's eye, but we all know that's not going to be the case, so let's move on. Now here comes the greatest line in history. Bitch, please, you've been to space. <laughs> I had to pause there for that laugh, dude. Fucking classic Nick Fury, man. But he's got a point, you know. He's been to space, man. You're, you're a grown man. I mean, you ain't no friendly neighborhood Spider-Man anymore, dude. So you, you got some clout behind you. So let's go, bro. What do you want, Peter? I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. Now here uh, looks like MJ is finding out that Peter is Spider-Man. Um... That's kind of cool because it's gonna kind of be it's, it's gonna be cool to see them build on their relationship with her knowing and clearly Aunt May knows as well. So it's gonna it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how they take their relationship to the next level with, with her knowing this. And but also you know obviously we know the downside of everyone knows once you know or once the more people know who you are the more in danger that all your close friends and family are. So but I don't think anything's gonna be happening. And I still don't know if this is technically the uh, no. I still don't know if this is technically the MCU's version of Mary Jane, or if this is an entirely new character. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But I don't have a problem with it. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right. You may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Look at this. This is fucking epic right here. The design is insane. Um, Me and... Uh, Thousands of others, we were all worried, would he have the fishbowl? How is he going to look? Are they going to fuck his look up? But, dude, this is awesome. The fishbowl looks incredible, man. I cannot wait to see this shit. Saving the world requires sacrifice. By the way, let me back up real quick. Um, see Ned here and Betty Brant. Um, this trailer's kind of insinuating that they might be a couple in this movie. Because um, she's been in, like... Three or four other shots between the last two trailers, or the last trailer and this one. There's like three or four shots where her and Ned are pretty close, and she's got her hand on them. So, yeah, a little uh, Betty Brant, Ned Leeds romance. So, interesting. World requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Okay, let me back up. This is a main money shot. Um, 
Look at the glasses here. Damn it, I can't pause on it. There we go. The glasses here. Look at these glasses. Do these glasses look familiar? They should because they are the same glasses that Tony Stark wore in Infinity War and I think one other film. But um, yeah, they clearly brought them back because it looks like Peter's going to take over um, as far as the, the tech stuff. And this is a good way for Tony to leave his legacy. You know, leaving all these gadgets to Peter. And it's going to be nice to see Peter using his intelligence for once and um, tinkering with stuff and, and messing with gadgets. And I hope he's going to become like the next tech savvy guy, you know, just like Tony was. So it's cool to see Peter wearing these glasses. I kind of hope he hangs on to them. You know how uh, Tony used to talk to Friday through them. So he's probably going to do the same thing and integrate Karen, his AI, into those glasses and all of his stuff. So it's gonna, it's kind of cool, man. It's kind of like a combination of... Iron Man and Spider-Man. Um, I know a lot of people don't like that, but I don't mind it. You know, I don't mind it. See, here's another one. Working on his tech, dude. This is a badass shot, so I can't wait to see how he experiments, man. Um, looks like he's building a new arm piece. Maybe his other one got damaged or he's adding new upgrades to it, but this is the Peter Parker I want to see using his intelligence. He's a smart kid. And I'm glad that they're exploring this with him. That looks badass, dude. This shot just... Th this shot looks ridiculous, dude. That's so awesome. Are you going to step up or not? Nice Spider-Man theme there. Fucking flash, dude. Man, not for Spider Man. New plan. New plan. <laughs> I love it, man. That's great. That's great. Such a great trailer, man. Such fun, dude. This universe is so fun, man. The Spider Man universe they're starting to create. I love it, man. I love it. I cannot wait to see this movie. So, um, But anyways, that's going to do it. Thanks for checking out this channel. Thanks for checking out the video. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you want. We're always welcome to talk more theories with other people. So hit me up, man. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. I want to talk to people. I want to meet new people. So, yep. We'll see you next time. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown. And like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.